Hello YouTube, right, um, yes, back on the bike. I do apologise for no videos uh, recently. I've literally had no projects on the go and the one project I uh, did have to go, I had to wait for a couple of days it to be sunny and get it done as quickly as possible so no time for filming. Uh, specifically, I was waiting for the weather to turn a couple of days, get it done, get it back done. And the, and the reason was, was that a crack appeared uh, in a very specific place. I think with beefing up the bars on, on it, any other weakness was going to be more prominent so I've had to bulk up a, a certain area which I will show you in this video but yes uh, I've asked people for projects um, I need to practice my MIG welding practice 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 and that's what you've got to do with welding it's learn the basics then just keep practicing until you get it and you'll you'll know when you get it so I've uh, done a little bit of repair to the trailer hitch on this and uh, we'll show you that Right, as you can see, things have changed around this point. I actually cleaned this the other day and then I've oiled it, so. Uh, but the things have changed around here. Now the reason being is just there, where this stem meets this, uh, this bit here, it cracked just there, literally just there and all around. And uh, basically, my welding on this bit, there was a big splodge of metal here. All this basically held it together. So this crack was here and there was compression here. And so what I needed to do very, very quickly was take this all off, take it all off. And I basically took a rod of steel, I think it was mild steel, and I curved it round here and then welded it up. I used tack welds until I had enough weld there to, to take it. So basically, I've joined the top of this tube to the, the, the main tubes on here uh, as firmly as possible. Then I thought, because of angling, I did have a bit of metal here. So what I did is I shaved off the metal and I took a bit of metal that I um, had that was already curved, which was for these here. It's, just, it's the same curving metal. So effectively what I did is I took that and I bent it a bit round here and joined it up with this rod so it basically goes down here, round here and all the way up to here. So there shouldn't be any weakness here, shouldn't be any weakness there and there shouldn't be any weakness here. That meant grinding back all this weld here and re-welding this area. And once I'd done that I joined it up to there. Uh, basically, so basically three points, one, two, three. So that should be plenty strong enough. Bear in mind, this used to be just a square there and a tube down there and a tube across here. This wasn't connected to this bit. So uh, basically, I have strengthened significantly this part because we've strengthened the tubes. I've strengthened this up as much as possible. And uh, I'll show you the steel I used. I used basically this stuff. As you can see, it goes round and I bent it round there. And curved it and flattened it off there, flattened it off there and just basically curved it round and I heated up this area here and curved it under and that went really really well and then I repainted it. So yes, as we go on we'll just keep an eye on these things because the, tra the trailer will tell you and you just keep an eye on them. So every time you come out you just check everything. Is there a crack there? Is the compression there? Etc etc and this can tell you if there's a problem with the, the whole issue. But anyway, done it. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with how that came out. The paint went on absolutely lovely and I've oiled it now. So yes, I'm uh, pretty pleased. All right then, that went really, really well. Um, it, it, I've, I've had it, it's been done for a month and a half. I've done trips into town. I've uh, done a hundred mile round trip. No problems. I'm keeping an eye on it for cracks and things like that but it seems to be solid. I've strengthened it a lot more than it was when I originally built this. So there should be no problems. Uh, but keep an eye on things. There is something I want to do uh, for safety reasons. It's just, uh, also a bit of convenience, but I need to get the parts for that, which should be about four, five, six quid. So it shouldn't be too much uh, to buy to get the parts. I just need to get them and do them. And I will show you that in a uh, future video. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, YouTube.